Whew. The trigger point impact, the Hyper Volt by Hyper Ice, or the Hydra Gun. We got three different massage percussion guns. They're all different prices. They all have different features. I'm gonna go into which one is my favorite, which one is the quietest, as well as the one that I think would be perfect for you in your running. Let's dive in. Before we get into the specs of each of these guns, we put out new videos each and every week on gear reviews, on training, on mobility, on strength training, on motivation, on how you can be a better, stronger runner. All you need to do is click that button down below to subscribe to our channel. Now, the Hypervolt Plus put out by Hyper Ice supposed to be 30% more powerful than the regular Hypervolt. It's got three speeds that I can hit here, speed two, speed three, and it even has a little LED light up sensor that shows you how much pressure you are putting into the thing. I hit this thing again and I turn it off. At 350 for the regular Hypervolt Plus and 400 for the Hypervolt Plus Bluetooth, this is our most expensive premier gun of the day. Next up is the Trigger Point Impact. This has four different speeds and a universal head that you can't switch in and out of, but it's kind of this good all-arounder. At 200 bucks, it is the most affordable massage gun we have in the mix. And last but not least, the Hydra Gun coming in right in the middle at $300 is a six speed percussion gun, similarly shaped more to the Hypervolt. Ramping this thing up. And it's got six different attachments that you can see here in this handy dandy case. All right, now let's talk ease of use and weight with these guys. First of all, as I demonstrated, they all have these push to start features. I just hit these buttons and they all turn on. I cycle through the speeds, I turn them off. The Hydra Gun, I have to hold the button down a little bit longer, which confused me at first. The trigger point I felt was the most straightforward and the Hypervolt had an on and off switch at the bottom, which if you don't remember, you're like, how do I start this thing again? As you go through there. In terms of the handle, the grip and the weight, I found the Hypervolt to be the heaviest one with the biggest diameter, which feels pretty good. You know, you can kind of see the Hypervolt and the Hydra Gun, they look the most similar as you can see, but you can see the differences in the diameter. You can see that the Hyper Ice is just a little bit wider than this one. Maybe the Hydra Gun has a little bit of an edge in kind of getting your shoulders and your upper body when it's a little bit more difficult. The Trigger Point Impact, slightly different style grip as you can see. Uh, slightly different shape here. Not the same rubber tacky grip all the way around. It's got a little bit of rubber here and here, but it has this bonus where I've got this little additional handle on top so I can go ahead and hit different areas as I go a little bit more easily with both hands. Let's talk the wonderful world of attachments because these guys, they're not just one trick ponies. You can pop them off and you can put different things on. Both the Hydra Gun and the Hypervolt have like between five and six different attachments that you can throw on there. And they serve slightly different purposes. You've got these general foam ones that feel good as like a general massage. Here's a metal one that you could even like freeze if you wanted to from a cold standpoint. They have two flat heads which are designed more from a recovery standpoint. And then, ooh, you wanna drill and you wanna dig in. You've got these suckers that are a little bit more targeted for getting into those deeper muscle spots that you really need. The Trigger Point Alas is a one trick pony, but it's got a pretty darn regular universal head that's good, you know, for most things. It's a little bit of a combination in between some of these smaller flat head diameter ones and these bigger foam ball ones. All right, so now let's test the sound of these things because man, the earlier versions of these guns were so loud. I remember trying to coach classes in my gym and when these first generations came out, I could barely talk over the cacophony of these things going on in the background. But now across the board, they are pretty darn whisper quiet, but that's not to say they are all equally quiet. There's some guns here that are more quiet than the others and you are gonna help me determine which is which. So let's start with the trigger point, the $200 one, turning this thing on. On. Kind of hear this close to the mic. That's speed one. Speed two, still pretty good, right? And speed three. Not too bad. Let's go ahead to the Hydra gun. Turn this guy on and whoa. Listen to that. Quiet. 
really, really quiet. Yeah, I mean, you can definitely hear something, but a little bit more quiet than I'd say the trigger point, especially that first speed. Woo! And then finally, let's check out the Hypervolt. What's the Hypervolt got for noise here? You ready? Test me out here. What do we think? Do we think this is gonna be more quiet or less quiet? We'll find out. First speed. Interesting. Maybe similar to the trigger point. Not as quiet as the Hydra gun. Let's compare. We'll turn this one on and then this one on. Yeah, kind of similar. So that's trigger point, Hypervolt. These are the slow speeds, trigger point and hypervolt. Kind of similar. I turn these up one and one. If anything, this might have like a little bit higher pitch whine than this one. Both loud things. Yeah, this one starts to get a little bit louder as we go, the hyper ice. Let's compare the hyper ice to the Hydra gun now. So I'm gonna turn this one on. This remember, this has six speeds and this has three. This is the pain in the butt about this thing. The only thing I don't like about it is like, I don't know if I'm turning it on right or not. All right, so low speed. Ooh, that's pretty quiet. That's a lot louder. This kind of jumps to the middle speed, so we'll try to get a com comparable one. Okay, the speed's a little bit more comparable here. Here's this one. This one's still a little bit louder. And then finally, let's crank it up all the way. I don't know. I still think the Hydrogen one is the quietest one here. A quick note on battery life. If you're in a commercial gym or you have a whole team using these things 24 seven, all of these things have a long enough battery life that it's not really gonna impact. It's more about the pain in the butt of how often you have to charge it. But ranking them from shortest to longest life, we have the trigger point rated at just over two plus hours. We have the Hypervolt coming in at around three hours of battery life. And we have the Hydrogen coming in at seven. Now keep in mind, you never want to mobilize or percussion yourself for three or seven hours, you would have a bruise. And in fact, the Hydra gun uh, automatically shuts off after 10 minutes to prevent A, overuse and B, overheating of these things. When they really say only to do few minutes per muscle group before moving on. So really the battery life is more about how often do you have to recharge it? And if you're traveling with it, do you need to bring your charger with you too? Look, let's be honest, all of these three guns are pretty awesome. They're well built, they're rugged, and they work. However, there are some key differences which might make a difference in terms of the one that's the right gun for you, as well as my own personal preference. First of all, the trigger point impact is 200 bucks. It's our most affordable option. It has no frills, good quality design, and it works well. So really great option if you just wanna step into the market and uh, you don't necessarily wanna go overboard. The Hypervolt Plus is definitely Definitely a premium product. It is, looks nice, feels nice, really solid construction. It's got the feature set. It's got the additional LED lights showing you the different pressure that you're putting into as well now that it integrates with your Bluetooth and their own app. And it takes you through guided massages on your body where it even changes the intensity uh, based on where you're at in the massage. So this kind of gives you that higher end tech integrated experience. Now the Hydra gun for me, represents the best of all of these things because it is the lightest. I like that the grip's just a little bit narrower. It's got six different attachments, six different speeds. What I love is that it is the quietest one here and it has the longest battery life. So I know that I could take this with me traveling. I could just not worry about having to constantly charge this thing all the time. It's no fun when you're trying to massage yourself and uh, this thing runs out of gas halfway through. So for me, of these three guns, I I think the Hydra gun is my pick, but as I said, you really can't go wrong with these things here. Now, if you wanna know more about what these guns do, as well as other types of foam rolling, myofascial release, and whether it's actually all a placebo, is this all in our brain, or is there actually something scientifically and physiologically occurring? Check this video playing out over my shoulder, all about what foam rollers uh, do. Are they just a placebo? Do they actually do anything for us at all? Because I'm gonna keep filming, I'm gonna keep reviewing, you keep watching and earning those miles. I'll see you in the next video. Started filming too early.